Hey guys, this is Bankrupt Nomad and in this video, I'm going to explain you a new stroke feature added in Premiere Pro 2023. I'm going to explain you how to use it and some of the coolest feature added into that. So without wasting a single minute, let's jump into Premiere Pro. So let's go select the text, click on the text and type drone shots. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so that we can see it how it looks like. So just drag it and there is a big drone shot. Now click on the drone text layer and go to window essential graphic when you select essential graphic check you'll have a new panel open on the right side make sure you click on the edit and then you have a drone shot as a text layer select on that and if you scroll down in the appearance section you have a fill color which is white at this moment you can change it then at the stroke if you check the stroke you'll have a, this outer line the outer stroke created on your text right now i selected the red color but i can do any other color let's say i want a green so i have a green stroke right now you might already know this thing but did you know you can add more stroke than just one so for example if you come here to the plus icon you click one and now you can see there is a gray stroke around the green stroke created which you can change the color to red and now you have it so that's number one number two is again related with the stroke let's say I have a stroke and uh, I want the stroke edges especially the inner or the outer to be a little bit softer you know how sharp they are if you see here all those things so you can make it a little bit softer so all you have to do is click on this tool icon and come here you'll have this window pop up from here make the round join you can also do the bevel, but let's keep it around for now. And instead of all lines, I'll select per line and just click OK. Now you can see these edges, they are soft. So this is the way you can change the stroke edges. You can also do another thing is you can create your stroke. Let I'm going to go back to the one stroke for now. So let's say you have a green stroke and you can change the size however you want it. Let's keep it eight. At this moment, the stroke is in the center. You could also do it only outer. You could do it inner so that the white somehow disappear because the eight is taking over unless you make it smaller. OK, or you can keep it out the way you like it. So I'm going to go back and keep it to the center. Now you have it and let's reduce the size to probably eight back to eight again so now i have the stroke thing so right now you can see my stroke is only one color but what if i want more than one color is there a way to do it so let's say i want to change it to some multiple color or at least two colors so what i'm going to do is click on my green color right here and in this color picker if you see on the top it says fill option is solid change that to linear gradient now you get the option to select the color by default it would be any color you selected to white so let's say i want it let's say make it like a flag of india color okay orange and the green and the white in the middle so i'm gonna click on this one and i will select the orange color so now you can already see my top got orange and on the right side my stop color i'm going to select the green and click ok now i have this orange to green if i double click on that i can also change the angle i want it so right now it is 90 degree which is from top to down but if i want it from left to right all i have to do is change the degree to 180 degree now i have it from right to left if you see each alphabet has a right to left there is also a radial gradient which starts from the center and it goes out so let's see how it looks like the radial gradient so now this is another way to change your stroke so this is how you can add any amazing stroke around your text you don't have to go to after effect or you don't need any extra additional plugin to play around with your text i hope this new technique will help you edit your video a little faster in premiere pro Please Please show your love and support by clicking on that thumbs up icon and if you have any comments and suggestions you know where to write. I'm always happy to hear from you and I believe that learning together is the better way. Finally if you want to watch more videos related to editing tips and tricks please do subscribe to this channel. So I will see you very soon with another exciting video. Till then my lovely people do whatever you want to do in life but don't forget to stay happy and keep creating. Goodbye.